what's up machine freaks welcome to today's vlog I didn't feel like doing my hair today and that's why I'm wearing my hat sometimes you get up and you just don't feel like doing your hair or you get up and you realize you don't have any gel luckily for me it was both things you guys ever get up and just not feel like doing something that you have to do or that you should do or that can improve something else throughout your day it happens to me once in a while but no, we're not going to continue to talk about cosmetics this entire vlog. Today I'm actually going to work on my truck, the D-Max. I'm excited for one good reason. You see this white stuff? That white stuff is chilly, believe it or not. It's called snow, I think. You guys know what snow is, but anyways, during the summer this truck works fine. Like the temperature is where it's supposed to be, but in the winter it doesn't do so good. Well, this is my first year, in the winter it doesn't do so good. So I want to fix that. I think it's the thermostats, so I hopefully I'm going to replace those. I did buy the parts, I did buy all new coolant, so we should be good. We got this though, we, we got this, I, I think. There's my truck. Look at this line. I think it's safe to say that it's lunchtime. I think I was the last poor sucker to get in there. Like, look at now there's nobody. There was a whole fleet of cars before. Now nothing, not a zip. There was a layer of ice on that hood when I left. I guess I was in there and waiting longer than I expected. Time to fix you, baby. I got a full stomach. We're ready to rock. I have my hood in the service position, which is really cool. All you have to do is change the position of the spring and it holds the hood up straight open. So now I'm a tall guy, as you guys know. And now I can get and now I can get right up in here. I wish I knew about that when I was in Florida. I've never changed thermostats in any kind of vehicle, let alone a diesel. And when I went and bought these thermostats at the parts store, the guys that work there weren't even aware that uh, they weren't familiar with the setup. So luckily I saw like one or two videos, but they weren't the same year truck as this one. Uh, the one truck was a 2004, I believe, and I think the thermostats were under the air AC compressor, which is this thing, but mine are right here. I mean, just like you guys, you guys do research before you go ahead and dive into something. I mean, I guess I don't research every single time, but I don't have like any diesel, like I just take my small engines and my gas engine knowledge and then try to apply it on diesel stuff. I'm draining my antifreeze or my coolant, whatever you prefer. much further ahead if you just start taking everything apart and put it back than trying to work around things. So for example, so if I get the AC compressor out of the way, then this line won't be in my way, this, this wire won't be in my way. I'm further ahead if I just take all of this off. was one of the models that like it would be like nowhere near the time that other engines would be like the LB7 and the list goes on and on but not only are the injectors in a good position on this truck but also the thermostats which is really I like it so when stuff does break god forbid it's easier to replace than the other engines Cameron's new name is Mr. Levin. 
Levenstein. That's all was hanging up. There we go. Found him. Woo! Oh, yeah. See, this one doesn't even have seals on it. They deteriorated so bad that the, the thermostat might have worked, like the spring might have worked, but the seals were shot, so the coolant went through them whether it was on or off. And then these seals are shot too. That, should, that seal shot. Good thing I bought both of them. So now we can start fresh. Froggy fresh. So I have my thermostats out, and they're sitting right here. This is the back one, this is the front one. I did my absolute best cleaning this out. I took a wire brush to it with a vacuum so that none of the debris got in here and went through like the cooling system. I'm also gonna put fresh coolant throughout the entire system. That's why I drained it from the radiator itself. Now I'm ready to install the new thermostats and start putting everything back together. This job wasn't as hard or as time consuming as I thought it would be, which is really good because I like saving time and I don't like wasting time. thermostat housing as you can see one of the seals just like stuck to it and uh, it's shot so before I put this housing back on I want to clean this up as well so that we have a nice tight clean fit and that way we won't have any issues in the future I'm loving that this is a southern truck man that, that's why I went down south to buy this truck when I did I went down South Tampa I think I got it the guy said he lived like a block away from Derek Jeter you know the professional baseball player And yes, I'm not using a ratcheting wrench because I didn't bring my ratcheting wrenches. It's called being unprepared for class, minus five. Man, I'm excited. This job's already almost done. Oh, that's it. Did I go raise the five gallon bucket? transferred that over. <laughs> the lady from us pulled over. <laughs> <laughs> Pull your vehicle to the side of the road. Put your wheelchair to the side of the road. The lady pulls over. Got the belt on, thermostats are installed, I'm going to fill it up with new coolant. Why do they make coolant look so delicious? It's like Nickelodeon puked up into this truck. Tell your dogs not to drink this. You know your dogs don't drink that. It looks like it's an orange flavored Kool-Aid. I'm driving my truck, you guys. I'm driving my freaking truck. I'm really excited. The temperature is awesome. It's at the 
185 mark, I believe. Originally, it was only one tick over 160, which is one mark above the lowest mark on the gauge. So now I'll have better heating and I'll get better performance out of my engine because it's in operation temperature. And all I have to do is check up on the coolant level and make sure everything's good. But I did put concentrate on it and that's why I was putting the distilled water in with it. You do a 50-50 ratio there. It's usually cheaper when you buy the concentrate. Like after you mix the water, like originally the price is more expensive but it's only like 20% more expensive. But you're getting double what you would if you buy the 50-50 stuff. Now we're running right around 195. Pure ponies.